Hello everyone, welcome to the Bonsai Life. Today I just want to uh, fix like few trees that I have. Like uh, this one is growing in this plastic pot for a really long time. So I would like to give him just some like... Uh, uh, I, I want to check the roots and uh, I would like to give him like some some at least some like training terracotta pot and uh, I have this one this is root over rock and I just want to check the roots and return it back into this pot so this one will be like really quickly so just to want just to check the thick roots I don't want any thick roots maybe just uh, snip off the uh, thick roots and take it off this one is this one have uh, problems with uh, watering this is uh, ginseng this one is like totally root bound I cannot water this tree so I would like to give him any other bigger pot than this even some plastic training bonsai pot would be good just anything just to give him some some air into into the roots and uh, this one have the same problem this is ficus burke and this one is totally root bound too as you can see and this one will get just like slightly bigger pot and uh, I will cut these these roots. Usually, when Burke gets like totally root bound, he he grows the roots all around. And uh, last tree is this one, and this one is also this this is one of my like more favorite trees. I have this one. I don't know, maybe five six years. And I just want to take him out of the plastic pot and I would like to give him at least terracotta pot. Maybe we can start with this one. So I will just take the tree out and uh, comb the roots and, uh, and give him a new soil and everything. So I will take the tree out of the pot. I will just take the lava rocks out because I can use that so I didn't water the trees because I knew I'm gonna work on some of them this one I did work on the roots so I don't have any thick roots on this tree the roots are like just beautiful feeding roots so this looks really good I will just check the uh, some crossing roots and some roots like high up and I don't need that uh, some funny roots like I have this one growing upwards I don't need that so I'll take my scissors and I will just here I have one root high up and I don't need that one so I will take that root off this one is sticking a bit up high but I can I can put him like I can arrange that one here I have a, a little gap I don't have any roots here one root crossing everything okay I will put this up I will just take the roots growing down like this and I have my terracotta pot, I will just put some lava rocks. So
and I want my tree on the angle like this and I'm not gonna wire the tree this time because I'm not gonna move this tree anywhere it is a bit better to to uh, wire your trees because when when your tree is not moving then your roots are growing uh, much better and the tree is recovering faster so that is quite important thing just to don't move the tree so the tree is not moving in the pot and because this is kind of like a partially slanting tree so I put him not in the center of the pot but slightly on the side maybe I should put the piece of wire because tree is wiggling and that's really not good so I will not tighten the tree too much like this this is okay let me check the angle of the tree I think it looks okay so I can cut the excess wire So I will press the rest of the wire down and I will fill the soil. Of course when I water the tree, uh, the tree will be, uh, will, will stand in the pot better. Just check do I have some air pockets in the in the pot because you really don't want any air pockets that can kill your tree. Okay, now I will just water the tree. So we can check the results. But I think it will, it will grow much better in this bit larger pot. Better soil. Because that last soil was uh, kind of perlite, perlite with, uh, with uh, some cocoa bark and, and a bit of uh, what I had there. Uh, I think it was just perlite and cocoa bark. I'm not so happy with the angle of this tree. So I could use a bit more like put him a bit more like leaning backwards because now it's too Too much towards the the viewer so maybe later on I will change the angle of this tree I'm not so happy but for now it's okay I will leave him just to grow so now we'll just quick check this tree because I see this uh, thick roots here and on the back side I have like two of them here crossing each other so I just want to check that I did check this tree like maybe two three times and uh, 
I have tightened the roots to the to the rock so I will just check I think I have to cut everything off I have a lot of roots down low and I will cut this tape holding my roots I hope I'm not cutting the roots so I have everything off and I see here this thick root is not so thick it's this one and uh, this other root this one I have to repair so I, I will cut this everything off I have here few small nice roots here so I will cut this I will cut this off. It, or, mm -hmm. I have here one nice root, one nice nice root here. This one, and that's from here, so I cannot cut this all. And mm -hmm. so, looks like that I already cut this once. So. Here is this root and this one was shortened up to here and then again here. So then I have some small roots growing to this pocket and then I have this that is like unfortunately this one is kind of dead. Yeah. This one dried off but these are growing okay so I have at least two three really nice roots here and this one is that but I have nice roots here so okay I don't have to touch this at all now I see everything is going according to the plan. So I will just return this as this. I'm not gonna put anything. Uh, I will just put a tiny bit of lava rocks there. Pity that one that uh, root that was growing over the cliff that uh, is that dried off. But I think uh, later on when I put this tree into the into the greenhouse during the summer, I will get uh, a lot of new aerial roots. So then I can use them. So I have to use my, I have to use the summer for developing some nice roots for this tree, but that's okay. I have three or four nice roots already gripping the stone, so now it's just a matter of uh, developing the rest of the roots. So. I I actually I love the uh, root over rock compositions and I find out that like you need for for ficus trees you need at least like five years to develop something that looks at least decent. So 
sometimes you have to check the check the condition of the of your trees. I know sometimes this one I pull out without any like I didn't do anything on this tree. But at least at least I know and if I had to do something then I could do. I didn't need to do anything. Even better. Because I was prepared to to cut the to cut some of the roots totally off. I also I I I have like a, you can say a problem <laughs> but I forget what I did. I have so many trees that I like I totally like I cannot remember everything. I'm trying. I I usually like remember most of the stuff that I did on my trees but not all like I have maybe about thousand trees so you cannot like uh, you cannot remember everything so this one is done now we'll just water it and return it back to to, to his place this one was quickly quick so this one is done so just watering and it's finished